fresh and oud. Two words that we normally would not put together in the same sentence. Two things that probably seem counterintuitive to one another. Two things that probably just don't go well together, like oil and water. But if you're thinking that, it's because you've never tried Oud by Aqua di Parma. Stick around for this one. Hey, happy Halloween. Welcome back to Real Scent Review. Tonight, I have a very special one, a very unique Oud fragrance. One that's quite fresh, believe it or not. And uh, let me tell you, the concept of fresh Oud really works, at least in this particular fragrance. So this is from the brand Aqua di Parma. Aqua di Parma, mostly known for their citrus forward fragrances, but this particular line, Signatures of the Sun, it takes a darker turn on things. They have some leather fragrances, some other oud fragrances, and some just generally darker fragrances in this particular lineup. And this one I have to say is my absolute favorite, not just from this line, but from the company in general. So we have the bottle here, solid black. It's got a shiny finish to it. The cap, comes off with a lot of difficulty. There's a lot of friction on this. You almost have to kind of twist it and pull it off. Uh, although it doesn't click into place, it fits very, very firmly into place. I don't think you ever have to worry about this cap accidentally coming off on you. Other than that, solid black, heavy, heavy bottle, great quality. It kind of tapers from the top to the bottom, starts off thick at the top, kind of tapers into a slightly more slim, shape towards the bottom here. Interesting bottle, looks like all the other ones from the line. By the way, batch code on this one is 1733Y. So just to avoid some confusion, this used to be called Colonia Oud. It used to have a brownish gray sticker on the front. This one is just the new version. It's just called Oud, no longer called Colonia Oud. It's the same fragrance, same scent, just in a different presentation. Let's get a spray out of this one here. Amazing distribution, long, wide, strong, just what you'd expect paying uh, Aqua di Parma prices. Whew, fabulous scent right off the top. So the notes that I get are Mandarin and Amiris in the top. In the mid, I get more Mandarin, more Amiris, and some leather. And this dries down for me with some leather, Amiris, Oud, and a little bit of sandalwood. Yeah, so right off initial spray, it's all about that Mandarin. It's a very sweet, very fresh, very natural smelling Mandarin, both the fruit itself and the rind. It's, it's photorealistic. It smells just like breaking open a Mandarin and smelling it. it. Smells phenomenal. It's fresh, but not in the way that Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue O Intense or Dior Sauvage are fresh. This one has, like I said, a very, very natural Mandarin orange opening here. And this is paired with some Amiris in the top, which is a wood resin. So that's gonna add some oily, slightly balsamic, slightly woody facets to the beginning here. Very interesting. It's resinous without going into like piney territory. And I also find it gives a little bit of an oily characteristic to the scent here. Very nice in the top. And in the mid, we get those same two accords, but a dark leather starts to make itself apparent here. Now it's not a dirty leather. It's not an animalic leather but it is leather and it's a darker leather. It's, it's decently strong here. It's making itself more and more apparent and paired with that Mandarin and Amiris, it just works so well. This particular iteration of leather, I would say is clean. It's, it's more akin to a new car as opposed to a horse saddle, for example. In the bottom, I find the Mandarin, there's still a little bit of it, but by far the most prominent notes in the bottom are the leather, the Amiris, and definitely some Oud. It's not overpowering, it's not an animalic oud, don't worry about that, but it is present. And I can tell this is definitely a good quality version of oud. Now, Aqua di Parma claims to use authentic oud in this fragrance, but I have to say, if they are using authentic oud, it's at a very small percentage because this is not an in-your-face animalic oud at all. It's kind of like a, it's just a rotten type of wood. And I mean that in the best way possible. It smells fantastic, especially mixed with that resinous Amiris and leather in the bottom with a little bit of that creamy sandalwood. And you know, in the far dry down here, we even get a slight cleanliness, even a soapiness. I think in the bottom, the resinous, slightly musky Amaris combined with the woody oud and the creamy sandalwood give this a really nice, slightly soapy accord, right? In an oud fragrance, 
who would have expected that? But that's just how masterfully blended this fragrance is. Very fresh, clean, soapy oud. But like I said, I only really detect this in the far dry down after everything has settled. Now given that note breakdown, it might seem familiar to you. It sounds a lot like the note breakdown of M7 by Yves Saint Laurent. And while the note breakdowns are similar, I don't think the fragrances are too, too similar. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are similarities, but I would not consider the two redundant whatsoever. M7 is a little bit more focused on the resins, it's a little bit more old school, and the oud in that one is a little bit more animalic, I would say. All in all, oud by Aqua di Parma is more modern, it's definitely more modern, it's fresher, and I think it's, out of the two, it's, it's definitely my favorite scent. But both are amazing, both are great quality, you should definitely check out both. Now like I said, the oud in this, if it is real, I mean it smells good to me, it smells authentic, just very watered down. So like I said, if they are using real oud, it's probably a very small percentage, but it definitely is detectable. So it's a fresh oud fragrance. You know, when I heard about this, I was a little bit skeptical. I didn't think oud could be incorporated into an otherwise fresh fragrance, but I was totally wrong. This one completely took me by surprise. It's an amazing quality fragrance here. I think for an oud fragrance, albeit quite a light oud fragrance, it's quite versatile. I would actually consider wearing this to the office. It's definitely good for social gatherings. I think really you could get away with wearing it in any type of weather. Definitely spring, summer, and winter. I've tried this in the hot weather of summer and honestly it works very well. I might not consider it for date nights because like I said, the oud is there. It's definitely perceptible and mixed with the leather might be a little bit too much for uh, a date situation, I guess. But any other situation, I think it would work very, very well. Like I said, there's, there's a definite freshness, but it's not like a typical designer fragrance type of freshness. It's not like that zingy, fuzzy bergamot you get in Dior Sauvage. It's not like that zingy, fresh, effervescent grapefruit from light blue O Intense, for example. This is a very natural smelling mandarin, amazingly blended scent. And now, of course, we gotta to touch on the performance. The performance on this one is very good. For the first 45 minutes to an hour, very strong projection. For the second hour, closer to the elbow, and for the third hour, it gets closer to the skin. But all in all, great performance here. The longevity, eight hours on my skin. Not a beast mode fragrance, but uh, the performance is very good. Especially for, you know, what's at the end of the day, a fresh fragrance. It's the perfect balance between freshness and a little bit of darkness from the leather and the oud. Now, would I recommend this to somebody who's kind of just starting out? I'll say, if this is your very first fragrance, in general, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's probably a little bit more advanced. However, I would recommend this to somebody as their first oud fragrance because in the grand scheme of oud fragrances, this is definitely one of the easiest ones to wear. Um, I think you should really check this one out. Now today on Joma Shop, they have an amazing deal here, a Halloween sale, $130 US for a 100 milliliter bottle. That's on Joma Shop. Now that Halloween sale is going to end soon. In fact, by the time this video airs, the sale might already be over. So I have to tell you, if you're looking to buy this, if you happen to miss that sale on Joma Shop, check out fragranceby.ca. They have the same fragrance for like 135 US dollars for a 100 milliliter bottle. That's also a sale price. Not sure when that sale at Fragrance Buy is going to end, but even at the regular discounted price on Fragrance Buy, this is only 185 US. That's as cheap as you're gonna find this anywhere. All in all, top-notch quality, very unique scent, very versatile for an oud fragrance, and something that I, I would recommend to somebody as a first oud fragrance. Just supreme quality. The craftsmanship here, amazing. And uh, that's been my review of oud by Aqua di Parma. Until next time, guys, keep it real.